Are you ready for fun? Now we play. Come on, good lad. Wow. As I alluded to earlier, I think he needs a toilet. We're going to let him go to the toilet. I do have him on his slip collar right now, which I shouldn't do really. Reg, come here, bud. <clears throat> Don't butt me. <laughs> good lad. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hey, bud. There we go. Let's fly collar now. Go poo poo. <laughs> go poo poo. I know, you're very clever. Okay, so we're going to play with Reggie now. Why are we going to play with Reggie? We're going to give Reggie uh, an outlet for his higher arousal behaviours. Chasing, tugging, being competitive. So then when we expose our dog to things that we want him to maintain a lower arousal, it's easier because he's our opportunity to exhibit his higher arousal Sorry, but behaviours. So I'm actually going to, in a second, once he's been to the toilet, put him onto his slip collar because I'm going to need that to probably gain some control over the, game, uh, over the game. So without further ado, now I don't know whether he's going to play, but I hazard a guess that he is, being the exuberant fella that he is. Lad, I'll put this on a little higher, not all the way up where it's in work mode, but it's there, so in case I need it and I'm going to take a ball. And first things first, I'm going to build some excitement. Oh, where's he got? Oh, where's he got? Where's he go, Reg? Where's he go, Reg? Oh, where's he go, Reg? Oh, oh. Mmm, <laughs> interesting. I'm going to give him a little bit more time having a sniff because he might need the toilet. And if not, I might change toys. If I do change toys, I'm going to change something to maybe, maybe something that's squeaky and fluffy. For me, a yellow poo means the diet's no good. So we probably need a change of food there as well. Hopefully, Auntie Susie has a shit bag. Do you? Yeah. She does. Picking your shit up. Okay. Okie doke. Slip your loving on me, Reg. Slip your loving on me. We'll try the ball again in a second. See if he's warmed up a little bit. Oh, oh, Good boy! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna get it, gonna get it, get it! Go in! We're gonna get it! We're gonna get it! Reg! Because if a dog like Reggie doesn't play, he's gonna try and release his play, play drive at the wrong times, like fucking about in the house, I guess. Or trying to go fuck around with the dog doggies, huh? So we're gonna go get a different toy. Maybe a small fluffy squeaky one will be good for a dog like Reg. Come on, bud. I'm gonna transfer him to a, the flat collar, our pre-poison collar anyway, so lad. Doesn't mean he can do what the fuck he wants though on the way to the shop. And we're gonna take a little walk to the shop, see if we can find a toy that tickles his fancy, and then we'll play that way. Instead, just had a seminar on here this weekend, so the ground's fucked. <laughs> What is it? 
<laughs> Come on, bud. Right. It's like he knows. A tug enough pink for you, big boy. If you don't like this, I don't know what. Right. This isn't training. Oh, it doesn't squeak, but we'll do it. Come on. No. We'll go out of the mud. Good boy. <laughs> ah, good lad. Good boy. Ooh. Good lad. Good lad. Ha. Ha. It's mine now. It's mine now. What's he got, Red? Yeah, good lad. First things first, I need to get Reg to want the toy. Now I don't do that by wanting Reg to want the toy. I do that by pretending I want the toy. Oh, oh. oh it's mine now, Reg. Ah, I'm making it hard to get hold of. Ooh. What's he got? What's he got? Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, Ratch, 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 what's this? What's this, Ratch? What's this? What's he got? What's he I know. What? Every dog's got the desire to play. Just like I said earlier, sometimes their desire to play is expressed in ways that we don't want them to. So it's really important we do create new hobbies through play to make sure he's fulfilled and doesn't want to express those desires in an uncontrolled hush, uncontrolled fashion. <sighs> okay. Um, what else can we try? Come on, big fella. Uh, let's go to the basket over here. Mm, this might be a bit big. I kind of hope you don't want this, purely for the reason that... Reg. I don't want to trape this round everywhere. Wait, wait. Here we go. Of course you fucking like this one. Good lad. This is just a tuggy toy on a... Wow, good boy. Good lad. Good lad. On a lead. Acting like a float pole. Ah, good boy. A little bit. Good lad. Good boy. Not that bad, you fucking. Yeah, good lad. So we have something. Ready? Good lad. We just got a stuck leg. Good boy. Here we go. So this is all that drive that we know Reggie's got. Good boy. Now, because if I struggled to get him to play initially, I'm going to offer very little in terms of control for this game. Good lad. I'm just going to teach him that if he gives up possession of this toy, I'm going to take it away from him. I want to build possession. I'm getting dizzy. There you go. Good lad. Good boy. What's he got? Always start play on the lead. Otherwise, you're going to teach the dog... You get a toy and you run away with it. Watch. Now, really important. Good boy. Hatch, hatch. Will we do? Whoa, well, fuck me. Good lad. Switch. That we do add control in later on. And the toy on the lead method is a really good method for dogs that 
a potentially a guarder. So like me reaching here now could maybe set a guarder off. So good boy. What's he got? Good boy. Good lad. I'm going to switch my hands around so I can spin anti-clockwise so I'm less dizzy. Boy, Reg. Good boy. I don't care about a drop. I don't care about a retrieve at this stage. I care about the dog having fun. Good boy. I care about the dog wanting the toy. If you notice, I'm moving constantly away from him. He bit the handle there. I'm not too bothered. Good lad. Good lad. And we got the chase back on. Good boy. What's he got? What's he got? Ah, good man. And this is what we want. Good boy. Look, it's in the dog. Good man. My now. Good boy. Good lad. It's definitely in the dog. So we just suppress these drives. Eventually they come out. Good boy. And I'm okay with it. Ah, growling at this way. Good boy. Good boy. Where's he? Boy, you're a good boy. Good lad, Reg. Good boy. What's he got? What's he got now? I'm going to go in. I'm going to keep him away from the toy. I'm going to take my handle. I'm going to wind him up with it. Because if he gave the toy up too easy. Oh boy, now he's got to work for it. Whoa. Dogs are like men. They want what they can't have. They like the chase. Good lad. Got to watch his teeth on that lead. Good boy. Good boy. Good lad. Where's he got? Where's he got? Where's he got? Now we're going to do that one more time in a second. Because he's just losing that little bit of drive for the game. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to put it over there. Yeah. Oh boy. And we're going to let him get wound up. Oh, you got the wrong fucking thing, mate. Good boy. Clever. If I get my lead out of there. Okay, man, we can play. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. I'm going to let him keep it. Good lad. Oh, you lost it. You lost it. Oh, well. Well done. Good man. So, listen. Not the most co cooperative game, I think, people. One of the buzzwords nowadays in the dog training industry. But what I am working on there is increasing his possession. Because if we have to build want and desire before we instill rules in a game, if I started to instill rules on that game, Reg here would have been like, no, fuck that. I just want to let loose. I just want to rip. So giving him an opportunity to do that first. And then as his desire increases to play the game tomorrow, the day after, then we can start incorporating some drops, some weights, some retrieves. But until then, it's absolutely fine that he just has a rip of time, expresses some of that drive, expresses some of those outlets before we go into our exposure and lead and control work um, this afternoon. So that was a nice play session with Reg. I'm going to hand him over to one of our trainers now just to do some food work with him around some dogs. So yeah, that was a good play session. Cool. Come on, Reg. Whew. And if you're not as out of breath as I am, that may say more about me, uh, but if you're not as out of breath as I am, you're not doing it right. So when playing with your dog, you should get a little bit of a sweat on. You should get a little bit of a bead on. Um, and again, we can use the tools like the toys and the toy on the lead to make sure we're expending less energy than necessary. Come on, Reg. And this isn't about expending our dog's energy. It's about expending our dog's desire not to get mixed up. So I'm not doing this to tire him out. I'm doing this to give him an outlet for his natural drives that I would rather him release on a toy than other dogs, cats, dogs, squirrels, trains, and all the rest of it. So you can see he's like starting to, you might've seen a couple of like stress shakes as well in this period. That's like him just releasing a little bit, which is what we want. We want him nice and like, uh, like borderline stoned for our next little bit. Good boy, relieved. Hey bud, good man, you're a good man. He's a nice dog. I like this dog a lot. Right, I'm going to put him away for five. Let him calm down a little bit. Let his heart rate drop before we get him out for more food work. Leave work in a second. Dala, shut up. Oh, Dala, we're on film. Cool. See you in five.